If you want to get a look quickly, there are a couple of ways to do that in Final Cut 10, which I'll show you here. To start, I'm going to double click the top of the inspector to get a bit more space down in the timeline and then take that space back by bringing up the effects panel. Now here in effects, there are two areas where I can find useful instant color effects and one is color presets. In previous versions of the program, these were located in a different spot, but this is where they are now. You can preview by simply hovering over the effect you want to test, and you can apply it by double clicking, at which point it gets added after whatever effects you had, balance color in this case. And I can continue to add effects to that if I want to, previewing what the combination of these effects would look like. As well as double clicking to apply an effect, I can simply drag onto the clip in the timeline and that works fine as well. These effects have all applied in order. I can turn them all on or off independently and I can select them and press the delete key if I decide I don't want them. As well as the color presets, I can also look in the looks category of effects. These are applied the same way, except some of these do something a little bit fancier. For example, night vision applies scopes. Numeric does a little bit more and romantic includes some softness. As before though, drag over or double click to apply. You can adjust settings up here in the inspector. Lastly, there are a few more effects in the color category right here. There is sepia, which gives an old world look, tint, which moves the image towards a color of your choice, and also a couple more like black and white, and some utility effects like broadcast safe and HDR tools. But one of the most common ways to distribute a color look is through a LUT. And that's what I'll show you in the next video.